Colin Farrell's performance and the outstanding good prosthetics of this character, boom, this character is what makes this show. This shocked me. Not bad. Not bad at all, man. Um, th this is... <sighs> This is a good show. Now, this ain't 24, this ain't The Wire, or this ain't Boardwalk Empire. But those are the goats, goats, goats of TV. But I'll be real with you. This was a lot better than I thought it, it would be. And I think that's the, the key thing. Based on my expectations of, of what there was going to be, this was actually better. This was actually better. So, I th and I think the what makes this really good is this dude here. Colin Farrell's performance and the outstanding good prosthetics of this character, boom, this character is what makes this show. The, in terms of the writing and the storytelling, it's decent. It's not amazing, like, trust me, if you want to see amazing storytelling and amazing writing, watch The Wire. Like, that is top tier writing. The Wire, or go and watch early episodes of 24. At least it's 24. So the, 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 the story, yeah, it's cool. But what really hooks you, what grabs you, is the penguin. And it's just so, so good that the main character is the most interesting character. Unlike that Bomber's film, The Darkness, where the most interesting character is actually the villain. And the most boring character is the lead character. This is actually how it should be, where the main character, what it's about, i.e. the penguin, that is the most interesting character, and that is the character that you are most hooked on. Again, all the other characters around were all good. Like the, is it Sophia? Yeah, she was cool. She was all right. You know, Vic, all, all the other guys around were all right, but everything was around him. And just, because for me, that, that's why I have my discussions with, with people. Is this purely Colin Farrell's acting, or is it the outstanding prosthetics. I've not seen prosthetics this good since Gary Oldman, the darkest star where he was your boy, Winston. <laughs> so since Gary Oldman was your boy, the church, I've not seen prosthetics this good. So is it Colin Farrell's acting or is it the prosthetics? How much credit should I give to Colin Farrell's acting? How much should I give to the prosthetics and the makeup? Because the makeup is outstanding. The makeup, because every time I watch him, I'm like, I cannot see Colin Farrell at all. I can't see him. Just the, the the nose, the mouth, the lips, the chin, the face, the body. And when you realize and learn just how long it takes to do this is amazing. So look, again, guys, spoiler, spoiler, spoiler. If you've not seen this, don't watch this vid. Because this vid, I'm going to spoil everything. <laughs> I'm going to spoil everything. Because this is a good old, this is a spoiler re re review. <sighs> Here's the thing. This shocked me. He had to do it. It made sense for him to do it. I was actually, I was genuinely shocked. Everything else was like, oh yeah, I knew he was going to do that. I knew he was going to do that. This, I was like, wow. Because even when he was doing it, I was like, maybe he's just going to put him to sleep. Wait, is he really going to kill him? Is he? And then as it was going, going, I was like, yeah. Like, and I think that. My fear for this show was they were trying to humanize Penguin. So I think in the last few episodes, it was really about his mom and the relationship with his mom. And I think that with bringing his mother into it, you were like, okay, they're going to try to humanize him, try and see what he's about and maybe try and give him something. And my issue with modern writing is let villains be villains. Let them just be bad. Some villains... Can be humanized. Some villains, there is maybe something deeper. Some people are just bad. Some people are just evil. The Joker is just evil. Sauron is just evil. <laughs> Some people, they're just bad. So once you now learn about the mother and just realized what he did to his brothers and how his mother knew what he did, I was like, bro, this is a really messed up individual who's always been messed up when he was young. So, and I think that what we just learned was that, no, this is just a really bad guy. And this is just a really nasty human being. And he's just innately a nasty human being. And when you just look at what he did with the Vic, he's like, look, he, he used him. He was like, look, 
this guy is useful. He can help me. But once I now get to the top and get to where I need to be, bro, piss off. I'm done with you. Because as you said, that where I'm going, what I want to do, nah. I like I I need a a higher level of personnel if I'm now going to now operate within those higher circles, which is that scene that I had with the um, I think was it the councilman, the politician. So it's a little bit like that was I mean when it was, I was like damn, it was shocking just to see it. I was like geez, but then when you think about it, bro, like because you could say to yourself, could he have kept him alive? And Hey, look, because you could have an argument and look, he has done, he's done good work and they have both grown together and he can, so, so he says, okay, why couldn't he help him and be part of his crew as he moves up in the world? That's one thing. But I think that in his mind, from day one, from day one, he knew that, yeah, I'm going to use this guy. Because I think in his mind, he knew that I, I can't fully trust this freaking dude. Because he, this guy has seen too much and has seen me do too much crazy stuff that I'm not sure whether I can actually utilize him. So I think the moment he saw him, he knew that once I get what I need and I use him for what I need him to be, oh, I'm going to dis dispose of him. So he was always good, past going to be suppressed to, to, to requirements, man. But look, man, I mean, look, my thing is, as I said again, this, 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 this is quality. It's, it is a, so people say, okay, would you recommend me to watch it? Yes, for him. My recommendation isn't that it's an amazing show with amazing writing. The writing is good. The story is pretty good. But just for this character, which is a very unique character, he watches for him. And because of just how good the performance is, how amazing the makeup is, and just how interesting the character is, just for that reason, I would recommend you to watch the 100%. So I think, right, so the issue right now is with this ending, what does this mean for the Batman? Because obviously at the end, you see him dancing away. Also, a bit of um, pop quiz. So you see his girlfriend that he's dancing with. That actress is... Carmen Ejogo, who I believe is half Nigerian and half Scottish or English, I think half English thingy. But that actress, her ex-husband is Jeffrey Wright. And Jeffrey Wright, of course, plays Gordon in the Batman film. So I was saying to myself, okay, is this... So, so, so maybe, you know, Jeffrey was like, hey, look, man, come on, do it. Because I think, because they're, they're still friends. Even if they're divorced, they're still friends. He was like, look, man, come on, do my... Do, do wifey is, is solid. So, so before I actually get to the permutations of the Batman, because before I, I forget, based on the success of this show, and this show has been super so successful, remember there was a Gotham PD show that was supposed to be greenlit. And that Gotham PD show, I think it was Terrence Winter, who I, th I think Terrence Winter did... Um, did he do Boardwalk Empire? I, I don't know what he did. But basically, there was a Gotham PD show about the corruption of Gotham, where Jeff Rice was put in being involved. That's for me, that was more interesting than this. See, I'm, I, will, I am more interested in that Gotham PD show, in this Gotham, than the Penguin show. Because look, see, we can only here to compare, well, okay, the Nolan verse and Matt Reeves verse, because I do have issues with the Batman film. Many issues with it. But one thing that's really great about the Batman film that I say beats pretty much every other iteration is... Gotham feels like a really unique city. Gotham in the Batman Tim Burton was, okay, it was really Tim Burton. It was cool, but it was a Tim Burton realized Gotham, which was still pretty cool. Gotham in the Nona movies, that was Chicago. <laughs> like you, there's a scene in the Dark Knights where on a building it says Chicago. That's how lazy that Bomber city was. What I like about this is this feels like Gotham. Gotham feels like a real actual city. So, I think a Gotham PD show would be amazing. And I think that with the success of this Penguin show, you've got to do a Gotham PD show. Because I think that would be really interesting. And I'll be real with you. I'll keep it a stack. This Penguin show, I was, I was, this for me was better than, than, than the film. Like, the Batman film has really good aspects. Right? The, the tone, the city, 
the cinematography, which is outstanding. The cinematography in that is crazy. Because I think it's Greg Fraser who also did the cinematography for Dune. So amazing cinematography, but I had issues with how the Riddler was done. I hate the costume. I'm sorry, like the Batman costume, horrible, horrible, horrible. So I had issues with it, but there's some stuff about it that's amazing. But I feel that a Gotham PD show about the Gotham police officers and with Jeffrey Wright starring in it, that would be amazing. For me, they have to do that. I think that that should be the next TV show to do. And I feel if they can do that, because I believe this is going to come out like maybe 2026 or something, if they can do a Gotham PD show for next year that maybe leads up to Batman Soul, that would be beautiful. Because they have to take advantage of just how good the Penguin show is, man. And so what does this mean? I think, look, I feel that if Matt Reeves is smart, for the second film, the main villain has to be the Penguin. And it's going to be like the Penguin now rules Gotham. And he now calls the shots because we've now really gotten a clearer, deeper idea of what he's about and how it's hard to do to pretty much rise to the top. And I think what it is right now is, okay, it's now the Batman against the Penguin because then you now have a through line of the relationship in the Batman him now sort of me also knowing more about him in the penguin and of course um him now being a much more prominent villain in in the batman too so i feel because i think they were they were thinking of doing court of owls one thing i don't want to see the, the joker I'm, I'm tired of the freaking joker now if you want to bring in two face that's interesting if you want to bring in harvey D i think a smart thing to do is what would be smart penguin harvey dent not two face have harvey dent just only as have it be prominent in the Batman 2, but the main villain is the Penguin and just how he's running criminal activity in the second film and just what and how much Batman has to go up against in that second film. I feel keep that tone, keep it grounded and keep it about the criminal activity. I think that's what will, will pop off. Because if the just is the same aesthetic as this TV, TV show, that's where things can pop off. Man. So yeah, look, man, it's interesting. Man. So yeah. I mean, tell me, guys, what you think about it. And maybe we'll probably have our live vibes hangouts, you know, discussing this show and just the whole DC thing and what can happen in the Batman D on a live show, man. Like the vid, subscribe. I'll see you on the other one. Peace.